Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mortal Joy Fish video. In today's video, I'll be showcasing the Paladin class, the best class, my class. Also, only a small portion of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if this video is helpful or just entertaining to you, subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind later. With that, let's take a quick moment to see how beautiful this sword and shield combo is. Very nice. The only class currently in game that uses a shield. Now we will get into our spells here of the Paladin before we get going. Uh, you'll still have the basic primary slash, just like the other sword of classes. Then our next ability will be block. Block and reflect an enemy's damage back at them. 90% block. So what this is going to do is if you press this, there'll be a short moment where your character raises his shield, it lights up, and he will block and reflect whatever hits him. Now, it's a 90% block, so you still will get hit by some damage from this. Not 100% a lot of the damage, but most of it will reflect back to whoever hits you with what. Uh, very useful, but has to be timed just right. To me, adds a little more excitement in your class's life uh, when you have such a timed and skilled ability to be pulling off. Next up, we have Gilded Light. Cast Light on your allies and heal them immediately. So this will be the Paladin's heal. Next up, we have Light Thrust, which is fire light at a distant enemy. Enter Light Sword Mode for one swing. Now we're gonna talk about that more because I don't think that definition's right. Uh, next up, our ultimate is Ring of Justice. Taking damage heal heals your allies. Enter Light Sword Mode for the duration. Now, let's go over here. We're going to go to these snakes real quick. And we're going to look at this E ability here. Our block ability. So as we can see, the snake's coming in for that bite. I'm going to raise my shield. And as you can see, it reflected and hit the snake. Very interesting. But as you can see, this ability lasts for only just a second or two. So you, it is crucial to time this properly. Now, once you've played a Paladin a bit more, this becomes a lot easier to land. At first, you'll get caught up in your auto attacks and your shields won't go off when you're pressing them. You can probably hear my keyboard. So, so it's about timing this and then stopping to press this. And it, it, it adds a little skill, keeps the class exciting, and it always feels so rewarding when you pull one of these off. Now, with that said, we're going to move into our next ability, which is our heal. And that comes in just like this. A beam down shoots a big circle out. This will heal you and any allies kind of nearby in the general area about the range of the circle when it comes down. We'll watch this one more time here real quick. I'm going to move away from the snake so it doesn't eat me. Uh, and yeah, so that's just the heal. Next up we have the light thrust, which is where you shoot the beam of light out of your sword. And it says it gives you the light sword for one attack. But as you can see here, well... Not here. <laughs> it may be in the next one. Um, okay, so I hit with the sword and it did the light blades damage. Basically, light blade is just going to increase your damage. But this ability was obviously changed somewhere between the writing of that spell and what it actually does. You actually get a 8 second duration of the light blade ability. Uh, so there is the note you will have this the whole time you are fighting after doing a light thrust It typically is about two seconds of non light blade to every time you can reactivate that ability to get the light blade back So very very interesting um, And very nice now next up we have our ultimate one of the most powerful spells as a paladin And that is the ring of justice and when we put that down you got this nice big animation here this big circle orb. So anything in here, anytime you're being hit, will heal anybody uh, in this area. So if you're taking the damage, that's good because everybody in here will be healed for it. And then on top of it, you're going to get the light blade, much similar to the light thrust ability, where you get the light sword, except you'll get it for like 15 seconds when you pop that ability. Uh, with that said, that kind of wraps up the paladin's spells, and that moves us into their armor. So similar to our sword master, you can only pick the perk of the sword or the shield here. As you can see, you can't have both. Kind of sad, but you know, makes sense again. Like I said, it wouldn't be fair to give classes that have two weapons an advantage against classes that don't have two weapons. Now you'll still be wearing the same armor as everybody else. Every class wears the same armor. With that said, let's move into is this class viable in game and i'm going to give a big yes this is probably one of the best classes for end game uh i'd say it rivals up there with the berserker and demon classes which are one of the other two higher end game classes 
Um, definitely the classes you have to work harder for in this game tend to seem to be better end game. The other classes just aren't quite as scaled up as the end other classes are. Uh, with that said, guys, I will see you guys all in the next video or stream. Peace out.